Cody at GoHunt.com, your new optics authority. One of the questions that we get fairly often here at the shop is the difference between 12s and 15s and you know which one should be used, you know what do I buy, what do I choose. So I'm going to kind of break that down for you. The 12 by 50s are a great option for somebody that's you know looking to you know reduce the weight and the size of the optic, expand their field of view. They're typically a super bright binocular. The exit pupil on these, which is basically the right light reaching your eye, is going to be a, a 4.2 versus a 15-56, which is going to be a 3.7. The field of view is probably the biggest difference. You've got a 20% difference in power between the two binoculars. So you're at 12 power and 15 power. Basically it's what your eye sees and it brings it 12 times closer or what your eye sees versus 15 times closer. So what that does is is that a, uh, if you're talking about field of view, it brings the animal closer but it brings in the field of view. So the 1250 uh, generally has a 300 foot field of view and a 1556 generally is in the 235 foot range field of view. It really kind of comes down to is do you want wide fields of view with a little less power or more power with less field of view. So really those kind of come down to personal decisions. People ask all the time, well, you know, I can use 12s on my chest. And yes, there's a number of people that carry, you know, the 12 power binocular in their chest. I will tell you that um, just be a little careful with that, only from the standpoint that 12 powers on your chest or hand holding are going to be more shaky than say a 10 or an 8 power. So just know that this would be like kind of the extreme in terms of what I would call handheld chest binocular. Some people carry 15s on their chest. I'm not a big fan of that. I don't think it's necessary. I think it's overkill. But you know, they'll tell you that they're cutting weight by not having to carry another binocular. So long story short, opinions vary on that. But I think the, the main issue here is, is do I go with less power and wider field of view or more power and less field of view? So it it really, it might depend on what your hunting situation is and what's going to benefit you more uh, where you hunt most of the time. So, uh, again, Cody from GoHunt.com. And if you have any questions or want to leave comments, direct any questions to um, optics at GoHunt.com. Thank you.